Where am I? Why am I here? I I can't remember. Who am I? And why do I feel so trapped? A stocking? Now why would I have any use for that? Oops. As I pick the matchbox up, the contents slip right out. It's hideous. A Bible. Interesting. I don't think I really consider myself a Christian, but in this case it may help. Benjamin, I notice a finger in the wallet. That is disgusting. A matchbox labeled Ludi Cruss. A ma I like the matchstick. Now I needed a purpose for it. It was very interesting. As I I placed the freedom at last. I've heard of skeleton keys, but this is ridiculous. Hey, maybe I could use the stocking as a balaclava. Hey you! Hmm? I have this area under control. You may leave. Uh, sure thing, boss. It worked. Bonus points for being called boss as well. The bed was secured to the I need to get out of here. Slow down. I have a few questions. Who are you? My name is Diala. I was hired by Benjamin Grunbaum as a caretaker. Unfortunately, as I entered the building, I did not expect to see... See what? Well, robbers, thieves. I don't know who they were. They didn't seem very friendly. That's how I got caught up in this situation. How long have you been working here for? It's funny you ask. Today was my first day. A good way to start, huh? I've never even met Mr. Grunbaum before either. Well, he's looking at you right now. You're Benjamin Grunbaum? Yeah, for some reason I don't remember much since I woke up in the bathroom. They may have drugged me. Would you happen to know anything about me that may help refresh my memory? I know very well that you are a rich man. The thieves may be after your wealth. Well, I'll have to do something about that, won't I? What do we do now? You just stand there and look pretty. I'm gonna find a way out. The bed was secured to the wall. No use in that. Locked, locked. Yes? Hey, Diala, could you help me with something? If it helps us to escape, sure. <laughs> Excellent, a key. What's all that noise in there? Oh no! Great, we're busted now. Quickly, what are we I quickly locked the doors behind me. Ah, I felt something was missing. Or someone. Huh? What have you done to this place? Oh, damn! I forgot Diala! 
You know those stories where the valiant hero saves a damsel in distress and in the end they both live happily ever after? In this story, I just realized I'm not one of those heroes. I unlocked the door to the balcony. Sir, I have him. That's right. Dan McNeely has been terminated. What the? I've heard about the word saving people's lives, and this has me about convinced. Who? Maybe if I change my clothes with the guards, I might be able to pass by them. Going down! Snipers, what do they want from me? That was close. What scared me more was, where on earth did I get that marksmanship from? Dan. Dan? Am I... Dan McNeely? If you don't tell me where your money is grown, Bum, I'm gonna tear you apart. Starting... Dan McNeely, leader of an organized crime syndicate, a gang known as the Armor Gamses. We've been tracking down the gang for quite some time. Mickey Lee has discovered the whereabouts of the. Hey, the I'll be over in a moment. Be ready soon. My pocket knife may come in handy. You never know when a light bulb may come in handy. How could I forget my banana? Ta da! It's a nice breeze blowed through. Diella Reinhardt, you look fabulous. breathe. 
Who was that? I need to get to Mickey fast. Diala, what happened to you? Where'd you get that gash from? Please tell me you're okay. Let's just say I had a near-death experience. Well, that sounds interesting. You'll have to share it with me sometime. But you have no idea who that thug might have been? One of Dan McNeely's, perhaps. I'm not so sure. Well, let's just be thankful you're alive and well. Don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of this, okay? Hey, after we're done, let's say you and I go out for a movie. Care to see Trapped? Starring that dead, set, gorgeous young redhead? Stop teasing, you goofball. No, hey, what are you doing? <sighs> Forgive me, love. You've been risked far too many times. I, I just can't let you go in there this time. It's too dangerous. Mickey Lee, you let me out right this instant! No. I'll be the one to settle this case once and for all. Great! Leave me in a car all by myself! Thanks for your protection, idiot! It was too dark. I couldn't see anything. Super glue! How convenient! Looks like a handle piece. It was the other end of the screwdriver. Hello! How may I be of service? Mickey's jacket? He must be close by. Sorry, Growly, you're going to be my rag. <laughs> this wall has seen better days. Maybe I can chip it down with something. Greetings! Why, thank you, young lady. I have no use for this blowtorch of mine. It's empty, though. Here, take it. I couldn't get through the bars. Thank 
Loki! Who did this to you? A man. <laughs> Couldn't quite see who he was. <laughs> Diala. <laughs> Diala, get out of here now! Wait here. I'm going to find help. Don't waste your time. It's too late for me. No! Don't say that! Uh, Di Diala. <sighs> Mickey, you've been my friend all my life. You can't leave me. <sighs> I'm gonna miss your face, love. It's so sweet. I'll see you on the other side. They're hiding. I'm going to call for backup. Uh, 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 no, I don't think so. If you did that, all the loot in this hideout would be confiscated. And we just can't have that. Dan McNeely! How you doing, baby doll? I missed you. I'm so glad you're still alive. I really didn't mean to leave you behind. Honestly. I'm Jeff with Food Beast, and we're in Louisville, Kentucky. We're continuing our journey across the nation carrying in- Dan McNeely! Diala! I've missed you. I'm so glad you're still alive. The feeling's not mutual, Dan. Put him up. Whoa there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Calm down. We're all friends here, aren't we? Cast your mind back several months. There we were, standing on a precipice between life and death. Actually, I was there to arrest you for breaking and entering. Indeed. We'd managed to secure Grownbum's living quarters, but we weren't quite so lucky with the safe's combination. So, while I was busy trying to break the code, he managed to sneak up on me and knock me out but good. Fortunately, my co-workers took care of him afterwards. Benjamin Grunbaum was a good officer. Why did you destroy his life? To put it simply, he started it, and I finished it. Diala, let's be frank here. You've been on our backs quite a lot recently. It's it's not good, not good at all. You've got such a nice face, you know? I really don't want you to end up like that grown bum. Or your friend, um, what's his name? Uh, Mickey? <laughs> You've made this personal. You killed my partner, Mickey. I'm going to end this right here. So you're going to arrest me, baby doll? More than that, I'm taking your entire gang down. <laughs> oh, I am so scared. You should be. <laughs> yeah, going around killing a lot of us won't solve anything. And it definitely won't bring your partner back. So, 
Here's the deal, baby doll, and it's a good one, so don't dismiss it too quickly. Why don't you stop fooling around and work with us? Please, it's in your best interest. My friend, Merrick, he... he's not as forgiving as I am. So please, for both of our sakes, can't we all just get along? All right, <clears throat> let's break the ice with a little question that's been nagged me. How did you survive back in Groundbaum's mansion? I was all but certain that you died. Huh? What have you done to this place? Are you all right? This is the last time we pull a stunt like this, Diala. You're more suited for the office. Can go home without a story to tell? Fat chance! Sir, I have You have? That's right. Dan McNeely has been terminated. What the? Wait, what was that? Repeat. What happened? Hello? Ah, <sighs> no answer, eh? Well, maybe you need a bit more time to think about it. What do you say, Merrick? Oh, say we give her partner back. She looks like she could do with a friend. Yeah. Sounds swell. Bring him in. <laughs> Mickey! Mickey! You murderers! How could you? Mickey's my best friend! You took his life away! You took our friendship away! Find a way out of here. Mickey's Bible. Hey, over huh? there. Who are you? The name's Jason White. What brings you here? It's a long story. My name is Detective Diala Reinhardt. Maybe you can assist by explaining what's going on around here. Well, Mr. McNeely is arranging a little surprise for the both of us. Which is? I think it's the achievement of human immortality. I'm not too sure, though. What do you think about this fine watch? A Seiko Chronograph water-resistant watch. They come pretty expensive, those watches. I'll trade you that for something. I'll think about it. Thanks for your help. Mickey? Member of the Armor Gamses? It can't be! The handle was missing from the sink. Hey, Jay, I need... Do you have a handle to the sink in your cell? Sure it does. You need it? Greatly. I think I have an idea. To ensure my freedom, I require a precious item of yours if you manage to escape. I'll then give it back to you. Immortality? Give me a break. They use a substance known as Immorgamsix, a formula that ceases feeling. A drug to cease pain and suffering? How does that make you immortal? I know what you mean. It sounds like you're getting one giant anesthetic. <laughs> Do you have a handle to the sink in your cell? Sure it does. You need it? Greatly. I think I have an idea. To ensure my freedom, I require a precious item of yours if you manage to escape. I'll then give it back to you. Thanks for your help. 
What would you like for that watch of yours? Your sink's handle. Easy. There you go. Now I have the water overflowing. Great. The silver coin was firmly slot. I covered the drain with the map. The water begins to rise. I'm out. It's not over yet. Jason, I'll have my watch back, thanks. But of course, sweetheart. By the way, did I forget to mention I have a thing for women? No, you didn't. Get off me! <laughs> Blood? No. Pieces of my hair. That lunatic. I unscrewed the screw with the gold coin.
It won't happen. Not as long as I'm around. We'll do this the hard way. It won't happen. Not as long as I'm around. We'll do this the hard way. Not so fast, sweetheart. Looks like you haven't learned your lesson. <laughs> We've only just started. Let her go, Whitey. You can't have her. She's mine. I'm not giving her up. She helped me out. And now I'm going to return the favor. Oh? Not even for a taste of eternity? Immorganzix, give it here! You'd think you'd have noticed the gun in my other hand. Blinded by greed, I guess. Idiot. I shot you before. And as you can see, I'm still here. Behold the wonder of Imor Gamzix. So that's why you killed Mickey, is that it? Listen, Diala. There's one important rule about the armor Gamzees. You leave the gang, you leave this life. Both of you came here to destroy our organization, and we couldn't allow that. But now, our goal has finally been achieved. 
the perfected formula to make us the new gods of this world. You're insane. Become a god? That opportunity is open to you as well, Diala. Just one step away. What do you say, baby doll? Say, while you're deciding, let's play a game. I'm going to give you a choice. Immortality or the chance to escape from this room. What's the catch? None, for the moment. The exit is right through that door. Freedom awaits. Find the key, and you're free to go. I've got plenty of incriminating evidence on you now, Dan McNeely. The authorities won't be too happy to hear what you've been up to. Whatever, baby doll. Just get on with it. I've got plenty of incriminating evidence on you now, Dan McNeely. The authorities won't be too happy to hear what you've been up to. Whatever, baby doll. Just get on with it. Diana Reinhardt, member of the Armor Gamses? No, 
No, it can't be. Oh, but it is, my dear. It's all so true. In fact, you are the leader of Armor Gamzees itself. Isn't that grand? But how is that even possible? Listen to me now. You were the first to consume the Immorgamsics, and I was the second. Due to a subtle flaw within the chemical mixing process, it had an adverse effect upon our memories. Erasing a few, inserting a few, etc., etc. So, me and Mickey? Was it all just a lie? Last I remembered was you and me, baby doll. We fell for one another, grounded in a common interest for power and an extended life. And why not? Why not? Let me remind you, Diala, that I'm the one with the gun here. It's been seven years, Daniel. Things changed. I've changed. It's time to give this whole thing up. No! No! You can't just throw it all away! This was our plan from the very beginning! I'm sorry, Daniel. It's over. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but it looks like you're going to have to die, just like your precious Mickey. Last stop, baby doll.